the KitchenAid stand mixer worth it? Is it easy to use? Do you need to babysit it the whole time that it's running? What can you really make in it? These are all questions I'm gonna answer in this video. My name is Brigitte and on this channel I talk about simple living for busy moms and recently I got this stand mixer to help me in the kitchen. I make a lot of homemade meals even though we are out of the house a lot because I feel like that is valuable for my family. So I invested in this. I'm gonna tell you what I've been making with it and hopefully answer some of the questions you have if you're wondering about getting it for yourself. First, let's talk about price because I feel like that is the most important thing. We try to be frugal and spend our money wisely here in our house and so for a long time I put off getting a stand mixer. I thought I can just use a regular whisk or I can just use my little handheld beaters and it's fine. So for the first 10 years of our marriage I did not have a KitchenAid stand mixer. We got ours at Costco when it was on a good sale but actually since then we've learned that the KitchenAid website does have pretty good sales that run often so I'm gonna leave a link in the description box if you're interested in getting one or just browsing if they have any good sales running right now go ahead and check that out in the description box. There are several types of KitchenAid stand mixers. We have the KitchenAid Pro six quart with the bowl lift. So the top does not tilt up. You actually lift up the bowl like so. And that's how the paddles come into contact with the bowl. So when we decided to get this at Costco, we brought it home and I did a whole unboxing video. If you wanna see that, I will link that also in the description box. And so for the last couple of months, I've been using it to make several things. Number one is bread. Number two is cookies and baking things like frosting. And number three is things like pizza dough. If you're interested in making your own healthy DIY pizza crust, then I will leave that in the description box below. The first thing I noticed when I started using my KitchenAid was it was pretty easy to use. And that is one thing that I was really scared of. I thought it would be pretty complex and I wouldn't really know what to do, but I briefly looked through the manual to know all of the functions and made sure that I had good contact with the bowl and the mixer which you can do a little test for it. I will probably do a video on that in the future, so make sure you're subscribed if you're interested in that and let me know in the comments. But once I started it, plugged it in, and put my first bread recipe in here, I found that it was pretty easy and I didn't really need to be scared. One of the things I love making in here because it's so easy to do is bread. So for that, I use this little dough hook and it makes the best bread when I use yeast. I also do sourdough sometimes, but for the stand mixer, I usually make it with yeast and it makes it so quick. I'm telling you, so quick and it's so much easier because I don't need to sit there and hand knead it. It gives me very consistent results in three to five minutes. I literally just dump everything in here and do it all in one bowl. It mixes it up and the best thing is that I don't need to babysit it. So once I start the mixing process, I clean up the rest of the kitchen, I get everything else ready for me to take that bread out and put it where it needs to go in order to bake it and I don't need to sit here and manually do anything to make the bread. Same thing goes for when I make cookies or when I'm making a frosting. I can literally just use the attachment that I need to, put it in here and walk away. I mean, I'm not going far, I'm in the kitchen, but it's so easy to use and I don't need to sit here so it actually saves me a lot of time. I'm definitely a busy mom and saving time in any capacity is something I always look to do. And listen, a little tip is if you do have one or get one, to easily move it around on your counter, put it on some kind of cloth. I mean, they make ones specifically to go under here so you don't see it, but I found this to just be such a cheap option and it makes it easy to move and slide all over the counter. Our KitchenAid came with a whisk, which I've used to whisk eggs with some heavy whipping cream and we make some scrambled eggs with cheese and this works great. I literally dump in all the eggs, dump in the heavy whipping cream and then set it to whisk and then I walk away. I get the pan ready, I get everything else ready, I maybe clean up the shells, hands off, hands free. Love doing it like that. I've made a dairy-free marshmallow whipped cream type of topping with the whisk. That was super easy because it takes, you know, a good five to seven minutes of it constantly whipping and who wants to sit there with a little whisk on the your you know handheld mixer and just mm, like standing there the whole time doing it like I don't want to do that I want to be doing some other things in the kitchen love that it's hands-free love that I can walk away comes with also this paddle attachment which we use for cookies and some of the quick breads that I make so they're more batter like when we make our 100% einkorn bread this is the paddle attachment that I use and I love that I put everything in here, I walk away. I did a video on our einkorn bread, so I can also link that down below. And 
also comes with this attachment, which has a little scraper. To be honest, I haven't used this yet because I really didn't know what it was for, but I think you can use it the same as this, except this will scrape the bottom so you don't have to constantly maybe stop and scrape down the sides. So I might try this out soon. It also comes with this uh, cover that you can put on to prevent any splatter, and then you can pour in through here. I did use this. Uh, one time, but I really don't find that it's super useful, but you may find that it's useful for you We've also made in here some whipped garlic butter and actually that is when we used this to keep it from splattering everywhere it's Super yummy. We made a whole big batch It was like really full and then we ended up freezing it and now we just pull out the butter when we need it and it's garlicky and yummy So I love that this KitchenAid has proved to do many things very well Including making homemade sausage. So we ended up getting an attachment that goes on the front here and we ground our own pork sausage that is so easy to do and so good. And then we actually put some in links recently. So that video is coming out soon. If you're interested in seeing our whole journey on that process, then make sure you subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss when we upload that video. It's gonna be very soon. Not to mention, it's really easy to clean because all you do is pop off this bowl, which I find if you take the handle and pop off one side first, it's much easier to do. Take the whole bowl out, easy to clean, really durable, like stainless steel. And then to put it on, I put one side in, other side locked in, and I push from the back. Pops right in, super easy. You can lift it up, it stays up very easily, and then you can turn it on. So between all of the things I've been able to make with this KitchenAid and the fact that it's easy to use and that I don't have to babysit it, I would say that getting a KitchenAid stand mixer, especially this six quart, which is the bigger one, is definitely worth it. So after you're subscribed, click this video right here to make your own DIY pizza crust and a stand mixer.